After a longer search than expected, the government announced a new president for CBC and Radio Canada today. Catherine Tate says it's an honor to be the first woman to lead the public broadcaster. This is my dream job. Tate brings more than 30 years of experience in film and TV, including at Telefilm Canada and the production company that made This Hour Has 22 Minutes. Since 2002, she's been running her own independent film, TV, and digital company in New York. She also co-founded an online content and distribution platform. And it's all that digital trailblazing that got Catherine Tate the job. As Ron Charles tells us, the hope is her experience will help the CBC evolve in changing times. Catherine Tate's appointment gives an indication of where the CBC is headed. Tate will be the corporation's first ever president and CEO with an extensive background in the expanding world of digital content. We're living an enormous disruption, as you well know. And as we move forward into the digital age, the CBC and Radio Canada has a role to play, an important role to play as a public uh, broadcaster. As more and more viewers and listeners move online, CBC and Radio Canada have already flooded digital platforms with their content. Apps for TV shows, apps for radio shows, apps to deliver news to phones and social media feeds anywhere Canadian eyeballs are looking. Finding digital age candidates to head the public broadcaster fell to an independent panel the Liberal government created for the search. The former journalist who headed the panel says they looked for people who could lead the CBC further into its digital future. It's not what happens in the next year or two, it's what happens in the next five years and the next ten years that is really going to answer what the future of the CBC is. What is the future of a national broadcaster in an era when broadcasting as we knew it is disappearing? Really cool, this is original. That future will likely look a lot like filmmaker Stephen Hoffner's passion project. It's a scripted digital series he's developing with Studio Entertainment One, titled The Six, about six young people trying to follow their dreams in Toronto. He's pitched it as six 10-minute episodes, each short enough to be social media friendly. It's a very more complex landscape, and that's because there's just more ways for people to consume the content. It used to be just a movie theater or a television. Now we have our phones. That kind of changed the game. That ever-changing game will be the principal challenge facing the CBC and its new president and CEO when she starts her five-year gig in July. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.